Hello angels, and welcome back to A Drop of Eden. I've been working in the garden the last few days, and thought I'd share with you what I've been doing. I grew up on a farm, and we almost always had a garden. But with me being quadriplegic, it's nearly impossible, or very messy for me to handle a standard garden. So two years ago, we decided to see if a hydroponic garden would work for me. Now there are many techniques when doing a hydroponic garden. Some start their seeds in the hydroponic system, some do the paper towel method, some grow in dirt and move to the hydroponic system once the seeds are sprouted. I have tried many methods and had a lot of success. I tend to use several methods depending on what's available to me at the time. These two sets are started on my kitchen counter under grow lamps. And before I get many comments on how many seeds ended up in a few of these pods. I try to only put two or three seeds per pod so it's less likely to damage the roots when separating. But some of these seeds were so small, it kind of came rushing out of the bag before I had a say in the matter. So to get them ready, we just want to wash off the roots. You can uh, use any container you choose. Today I'm using a uh, old white container that I washed all the oils and stuff out of. This part is uh, very simple. You just take your knife or garden tool and loosen up the soil around the pod and gently pull the uh, plant out of the container. Some like to put the plant straight in water. I personally like to gently loosen up the soil around the roots. I find that makes this process easier and actually gets the roots uh, cleaner. Next I'm going to be putting them in the rock wool. Rock wool is a hydroponic growing medium also known as stone wool. It is one of the most versatile growing mediums available. And though it's commonly used as a seed starter, this growing medium can be used for the plant's entire life cycle. When it comes to prepping the pods, again, there are many methods. Some say to soak in water to soften the, the fibers, but I find that it don't really make a difference, and not soaking makes less mess for me. So, to prep the rock wool pods, I'm just going to use a sharp knife. I learned not to use scissors because it tears the fibers instead of cuts them and makes them more likely to fall apart. So I'm going to take my knife, look at the hole in the middle of the rock wool, and cut down one side of the pod to create an opening to slide the plant in. I'll slide the seedling into the rock wool with the leaves as close as possible to the hole to stabilize the plant. You want to be careful when placing them in the pods that you're touching the roots as little as possible because you don't want to damage them. Once I'm done putting all of them in the rock wool, I'll put them in about a half an inch of uh, plain water for the next 24 hours for them to reactivate. Once I see the leaves standing up, I'll move them to the main hydroponic system that already has all the food and nutrients they need. As always, thanks for watching my video. You'll find a link to where I purchased all my supplies in the description box below. And if you want to learn more about aromatherapy or herbs in general, be sure you're checking out my blog. Until next time.